Wildcast, I'm Ariel. And I'm Zaria. You are watching CETV News. Be sure to check out the Lawrence Township website for the latest updates. February is Black History Month. Will and Cameron went around and asked people what this month means to them. Let's take a look at the segment now. What does Black History Month mean to you? To celebrate African American people. I'm Mr. Kangany. I'm one of the school counselors. Well, Black History Month for me it's gone through a lot of uh, changes over the years. You know, initially it was just kind of like, hey, this is something we should be doing. I don't think we were very good at it. And I think because of what's happened through the last couple of summers, Black Lives Matter, um, all the stuff that's going on in the news, this year Ellen's team has put together a much better program that effectively raises our awareness and consciousness of the contributions, the pain and suffering of what's going on in history uh, for black Americans. Black history month means a lot to me because I get to learn about like what happened in the past about my like race and um, it really educates me about like what happened and how they made an impact and how it affects me like it just helps me want to work towards me making a big impact for my race. Next week is Black History Month Spirit Week. Monday is Black Excellence Day. Dress as your favorite black influencer. Tuesday is African American Flag Day. Wear your red, green, and black. Wednesday is HBCU Gear Day, and Thursday is 70 Soul Train Day. Let's see those bell bottoms. Finally, Friday is Blackout Day. Everyone should wear all black. Make your plans now to celebrate the whole week long. Black Student Union is also sponsoring a speaker series this month. Next Wednesday, February 16, award-winning mixed media artist Rebecca Robinson will be in the Media Center from 4 to 5 p.m. talking about her artwork. The speaker series will finish up on March 1st with Dr. Samantha Lane Franklin, who will share her experiences in attending an HBCU, as well as her experiences while earning her degree and starting her own business. This week is National School Counseling Appreciation Week. We are lucky to have great counselors here at Lawrence North. Take a look. <laughs> Thank you to all our counselors for all they do. The Distinguished Scholar Program recognizes students based on GPA, service, leadership, athletics, performing arts, clubs, and other organizations beyond the classroom. Students applying to be a Distinguished Scholar need to make sure their application is submitted by February 28th. During the month of February, there is a book drive going on for the kids of MSDLT elementary schools. If you have any children books you would like to donate, you can drop them off in your English classes. Do you have someone special you like to send some candy or a flower to for Valentine's Day on Monday? If so, Key Club is selling candy grams and flower grams this week during the lunch blocks. Candy grams are a dollar and flower grams are two dollars each. All proceeds go to Key Club and donations. Let's go to Anthony for the weather, followed by a look at a key figure in black history. Good morning, Cat's Eye. My name is Anthony and I'll be doing the weather for today. Today's weather will be a high of 41 degrees and a low of 31 degrees. Now, seeing as the humidity is 100%, it'll, be mo it'll most likely be pretty wet. Before school Tuesday, it'll be a temperature of 8 degrees, and it'll also be pretty wet as the humidity is 100%. Now, after school Monday, the temperature will be 37 degrees, and the humidity would be 76 degrees. So it won't be as wet, but it'll still be pretty wet. Now, Tuesday, which is a green day, will be partly sunny with a high of 24 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. Now, Wednesday, which is a red day, will be mostly cloudy with a high of 27 degrees and a low of 20 degrees. Now, Thursday, it'll be partly sunny, but it'll, it's a green day. It'll be partly sunny, and it'll have a high of 37 degrees and a low of 21 degrees. Now, Friday, which is a red day, will be mostly sunny with a high of 43 degrees and a low of 29 degrees. Now, on our off days, Saturday and Sunday, it'll be mostly cloudy on Saturday with a high of 51 degrees and a low of 41 degrees. Now, on Sunday, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be partly cloudy and it'll have a uh, high of 45 degrees and a low of 35 degrees. Now, on Monday, it'll be a red day week. So, it'll start off on, on a red day, red day Monday, and it'll be mostly cloudy with, uh, with some rain and snow and it'll be a high of 38 degrees and the lowest it'll be is 18 degrees. 
It's National Umbrella Day. It celebrates the cultural, the cultural of umbrellas. My name is Anthony, and thank you for having me to present your weather for Cat's Eye. Go Cats! Black History Month, and my second about Booker T. Washington. He was born April 5th, 1856. His key role was making the Tuskegee Institute into a major university. He was the first lady of the Tuskegee Normal and Industrial Institute. He left behind three kids with us, and he's a dominant leader for African Americans. Welcome back, attention juniors. All juniors will be taking the SAT on Wednesday, March, t March 2nd, during the school day. There is no cost for this test, and registration is handled by the school. More information will be coming later about this date, but for now, Junior, you can start preparing for the test. Check out the recent Parent Square message that went out from Ms. Severson. There are links to practice tests and also to information about what type of questions to expect on the exam. Turning now to the sports. Boys Junior Varsity Basketball has a home game tonight at Ben Davis at 6 p.m. and Varsity will be at 7 p.m. The girls swimming and diving team placed second at the sectionals last weekend. Six swimmers qualify for state. Brielle Vale, Emma Pletcher, Carol Luddington, Gabby Beck, and Emerson Lehem and Molly Miller. Congratulations and best of luck tonight. In addition to high school sports, there is a big game coming up this Sunday. It's Super Bowl 56 and the Rams and the Bagels are playing. Who do you have winning? Check out this segment from Elijah. Hey cats, it's Elijah. And today we asked students and teachers what their predictions was for the Super Bowl. Here's what they said. What's your predictions on the Super Bowl? I think it was me. The Rams. Who's playing again? The Rams. The Rams. Um, thank you. The Bengals is really good. The Rams are going to win. I think the Rams are going to win. The Rams don't beat the Bengals. I think the Rams gonna win. Um, I think people might have a great time. Or I think the Rams is gonna win. That's all we have for today, Cat. Stay tuned after this for a fun trivia segment. To conclude the end of today's episode, remember to keep your mask up, hats off, and be ready to learn. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day and go Cats! I'm Melanie and I'm here with... Tank. Here. So today we're going to be doing a trivia segment. Your first question is, who is the 44th president? Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's not right. The second question is, what does WWW stand for? <laughs> Websites, Walmart, Wikipedia, websites, world, world, world. No. The answer is World Wide Web. I'm here with Kaden. And today I'm going to be asking you some trivia questions. Your first question is Who is the 44th president? I don't know. The second question is What does WWW stand for? Worldwide Web. Okay, and your third question is, what's the biggest ocean? Pacific. Okay, the first answer was Barack Obama. I'm here with... Aiden. And today we're going to be doing trivia questions. Your first question is, who is the 44th president? Barack Obama. Okay. What does WWW stand for? World Wide Web. Okay, and your third question is, what's the biggest ocean? Uh, the Pacific Ocean. Okay. Oh.